Hey guys, this is Mama Schmo's Reviews, and this is my homeschool mess. I have my Bookshark stuff that I didn't use while I was at my mom's house. I took out some stuff that we are using. I have my Themeville um, curriculum math book that I got for first grade for my daughter to use a little bit this year, more in the summer probably. And if you guys want to know more about Mathville, or Math Themeville, let me know. I could do a little review on this, um, or just show you guys what I got. So far, so good. We only did like a day or two of it. This is our phonics box full of stuff. And as you can see, I have multiple letters. And I got more letters here from my daughter's birthday. Then I have more letters here. So I kind of want to get everything together in these boxes um, and try to just get rid of just random stuff so it could be more minimal because I technically like don't need 5 million alphabets. Like, literally, I have more than this, if you guys want to know. So, I like to have maybe a couple sets of alphabets, but I don't have to have, like, ten of them. So, this is our science stuff, like our sensory bin things and plants and all these science things that we have for Bookshark. And then just random things here. Sorry for the mess, you guys. Um, I have our math box here that I actually put away down here. Some of my math is here, and then we have our other stuff in here with all the colors and my son's flashcards and the clocks and yeah guys, so I have a lot of stuff and this is just some of it. I have a lot of other like puzzles and educational games and stuff in my living room. So this is just like the core of our homeschooling, like the items that we use that I boxed up and I categorized. So it's nice that it's in order, but now I'm going to go through it and see if I can get rid of some stuff. I'm really decluttering and I haven't done any videos, but I have been watching Clutterbug and I've been watching Darcy Isabella and I've been watching um, Sweet and Simple Home with the one box challenge that I didn't do this time around. But I have been decluttering. I just haven't been putting on YouTube and I have so much stuff that I have been donating. And it's crazy. And I already donated at least over 20 bags, trash bags worth of stuff before I moved. And now I'm noticing that I have a lot more to get rid of. With this little card set table here, my mom got me um, just temporarily so we could sit in the dining room area if my kids want to have breakfast. Um, or do a little homeschool, but I'm looking for a cute little small table to put in here. So yeah, we have lots and lots of stuff to do, painting and all that fun stuff when it comes to getting a new house, but I'm really grateful. So I want to share with you guys my little journey of decluttering. Like I said, I've decluttered so much already, and I want to do like a homeschool purge little session while my kids are taking a rest. So... I will let you guys know what I choose to get rid of and hopefully inspire others to kind of go through your things um, for the first quarter of the school year and see what you're actually using and what you're not using. And if you get rid of it and you really, really miss it, you can always go back and get it again, but you'll notice that you probably won't be missing some of the things, especially if it's taking up so much room. So like I have one, two, three, four, five boxes and I probably have a couple more boxes if you want to put them into a box as far as educational things and stuff so it does take up a lot of our house and I want to get rid of extra stuff that we're not using that we've used maybe last year but that we're not using this year so that is it guys I will see you soon showing you guys what I got rid of so this is what I started purging up in my bedroom that I had for the kids when they're older there's a dictionary that I don't know if my mom or I got it from a thrift store. It's beautiful, it's amazing, it's just so big, and we haven't used it yet, and we probably won't use it until she's a lot older. And we do a lot of things online. I have a Hebrew book that I had from a long time ago when I was studying Hebrew. I don't need this, I've kept it for, I don't know, 15 years or more, more than 15 years, like 20, and I don't use it. I thought I was gonna teach myself Hebrew. I have these high fives that I got from a cousin. We've already looked at them, which is great, but I don't need to keep an eye on this. This was a really cool Discovery Kids Planet Earth with a 3D reader, but they they ripped the 3D reader. It was really annoying, but a thrifted item that we can just let go. Another high five. What's it called? High five, yeah. 
Then we got a lot of these um, first day of school books that I love. We read for the first day of school, but we're really not a typical school. We're a homeschool family, so it really doesn't go with uh this is a first atlas. It's beautiful. It has amazing things in it, but I have so many things like this, us one ones that are better. I was trying to sell this at a curriculum sale. I got this at a thrift store. It was like I was buying these things to sell. I have the Samantha like uh, American doll stuff, but my daughter is not old enough for it. Got it at a thrift store. Maybe I shouldn't go thrift store shopping. <laughs> I got this to resell, never resold it. I did get a lot of thrift store things and I, I sold them at curriculum sales. I have Usborn Explorer book, which is for like a 10 year old, which is way too advanced. And I already have some from Bookstruck. I don't need extra. Then I have this amazing big book geography that I was trying to resell. And I already have geography books for our curriculum. We don't need more. So it shows here, you guys, that these are good books. I love them. But you know what? There's so much stuff that I already have. I don't technically need them anymore. So I'm going to start over. Let's see. I don't even know where to start. I want this. What your kindergartner needs to know. I like this. Oops. And I got this Mathematicians Are People Too book from a teacher. One of my mom's clients. And it looks really interesting. I want to read it myself. Moving on to science. My sensory bins. These things, you guys are shredded paper and they use it like one or two times and they like the beans so I don't need to these can probably be thrown out in the trash so I'll just put those here pom-poms I feel like we have so many pom-poms guys all right let's see what else is in here I wanted to do this with you guys just to show you like how much stuff we accumulate it's crazy the beans are like I said they love the beans for their sensory bin, so I got like two big bags of beans and they love it. It's just a mess, so I always have to put a blanket down. And these are all of their kinetic sand, which I'm not going to buy more, so I'll just keep this. Because if I get rid of it, I'll probably buy more of it. It gets everywhere, but I'll play outside with them. This is their bug carrier. They still play with it. And more bug carrier stuff. This is all inside of here are all their little bugs. Another bug set for my son. I got these at Target and I need to grow these with my kids soon. The little plants. And so in here I think is a little bug set. Okay. Enough about that. Love Evan Moore workbooks. I have a health, safety, and manners. I have not used it yet, but I'm going to because I think it's really great. The world God made it. This went with the Heart of Dakota. And I really like it because it's simple. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to... I'm going to keep it, you guys. Because it's a really simple science, and I like how it talks about God's creation. It's really simple. I think it just goes through the seven days of creation. Oh yeah, the six days, obviously. The seventh is rest, but it goes through the seven days of creation. I like it. A penguin book. Uh, we don't really need a penguin book. Alright, so they're animal books from the Dollar Tree. These are awesome. She used half, she's almost done with it and I'll throw it away. This is our Book Shark Science kit. Um, I have not used the science experiments yet with Book Shark because... I plan on doing this during the summer when it's super hot and the kids and I can't get out of the house because I live in Florida and this will be a great way to do it. I'm doing more nature science right now, going outside with them. The weather's cooling off and that's what I'm planning on doing or that's what we are doing. This is their space rocks which they love. And this kind of sucks guys. If you see this at the Dollar Tree, it's good for adults, like for older people maybe, to squeeze for strength, but it's so hard to squeeze and it doesn't pick up really well, so I'm just going to give this away. Alright, so there's no point of keeping things that don't work. 
these are cut and paste things from, I don't know why it's in the science, I was put there. Alright, so animals book, this is a first discovery book, I love it though, it has transparencies on it, it's really cool. I love it. It's super small. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Let's see what else. The see and grow. Discover more. I really like this. This is perfect for my son. So we'll keep this in the science. Another plant. And then I got these from my husband's cousin. She gave us so many awesome books. Like who and how and what and why. Oh, I don't know. They're awesome, but we have not used them since we've gotten them. So I'm going to put this in here. This will be my little thinking pile of like, should I keep it or should I give them away? This is a cute book that my aunt got me for rain. I will leave it in here. Probably put it up in the kids' room for books. And the Sunny Day book by DK Chick-fil-A. These are little cute little science experiments. Eh. Do I really need this book? Not really. Okay. So, that's the box of stuff I'm giving away. What makes day and night? This is like a new book that someone gave us too. I think this is a great way to teach them about day and night. That's cool. My dog, my son. Alright, so. You guys. That's pretty good. I definitely am keeping the science experiments and the space rocks. I have a lot more, but I just, I don't know where, there's more stuff in my living room that I have to go through. I guess I'm going to get rid of these. Let's, is this you guys? Are you guys like me? This is kind of cool. You know what? Alright, let's. I'm such a dork. Alright, I'm going to keep them. Alright, so I got rid of basically these things, these, and a couple books. That's not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, I'll put these in here. Alright, so for my letters, those are good letters. I'll probably get rid of these. These went to a leapfrog set, and the leapfrog set's broken and then I got more magnets for like 50 cents at a thrift store that we used last year so much last year I don't need these these are like Dollar Tree letters that I got when I first started homeschooling like two and a half years ago so I might just keep these because my mom just bought them for us for the little chart and I know I have a bunch of other ones okay so I am in the midst of doing my homeschool decluttering my kids are done with the rest it's been a while so we were playing a little bit and I found another homeschool box that I took to my mom's so I could homeschool them and this is what I used I used all the stuff and a couple more things and that was basically it and I'm realizing well when I was over at my mom's I was realizing that that's all we really truly needed and I have all of this, and plus more, I'm sure. So I'm thinking really hard on simplifying things. I have a whole box also under my storage in my stairs with stuff that is like for when they're older. And I declutter that stuff, and I went through it, and I kept some of the staples that I wanted to keep for maybe next year. Now I'm making dinner, and I have just random stuff in here that I have in the the refrigerator still am not in the, um, what do you want to call it, the rhythm of cooking at our new house. So I have zucchini, and I have some beef and tomatoes. I didn't have any onions, so I was bummed, but I put garlic in there, and I put tomatoes, yeah. I don't have anything else in here. And then I think I'm going to do something a little interesting, like maybe put, like, where is it? Um, I was thinking, oh, some pasta. So I was thinking of putting some pasta in here, kind of like a like a Japanese sort of soup with some pasta noodles, like ramen noodles sort of. I thought that'd be kind of interesting. We'll see how that goes, guys. So yeah, this is my little, I have like 13 more minutes left until this is done. And while my kids are watching a show, 
I will try to tackle a few other things. Um, this is some stuff that I got rid of now. And then this is the stuff that I've been using at my mom's house. I'm repeating myself. So yeah, I'm a little overwhelmed. But I want to keep on going. And I will let you guys know what I use. Or what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. To inspire others. So I'll try to minimize the math and the phonics. So we shall see you guys.